Hey Faith, it is so good to see you again. I'm super thankful for the creative ways that we're finding to connect with one another in this time. I'm thankful for our online worship service uh, Sundays at 10 and uh, thankful too for our daily devotional. I wanted to show you real quick a uh, basketball hoop behind me. I've been spending some time here uh, during this time of my kids' PE teacher, and so we've been playing a lot of basketball, and I wanted to show you real quick before we get to the devotional uh, my trick shot. So, you ready? Here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, anyways, for our daily devotional this week, we are going to be reflecting on the reality that Jesus is with us. And I think that's so good to remember in this time because we can't be with one another face to face. And yet the good news about Jesus is that he's Emmanuel. He's God with us, which means for you that in whatever you face in this time, uh, Jesus is with you. And so this week we're going to be reflecting on that reality together. We're going to be looking at different stories in the daily devotional of how Jesus is with people and how he's with us in this time. And to kick it all off, I want to read to you from Matthew chapter 1, starting in verse 18, which details the birth of Jesus. So listen to this, Matthew chapter 1, 18, we read this. Now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. And her, just, and her husband Joseph, being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to divorce her quietly. But as he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Now listen to this. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. I love that title for Jesus. He's Emmanuel. He's God with us. Here's what this means for you as you go through today. Whatever you face, you have a God who is with you. Uh, he's present in your life. He's personal. He loves you. Uh, he's working for your good. Uh, so as you go through today, remember that God is with you. Looking forward to when we can be with one another face to face. Until then, keep looking to Jesus and may he bless and keep you. Feeling blessed.